Okay, hi year 10, hope everyone is well. Um, start getting date, title and keywords down for the lesson today. So we're looking at, last lesson we looked at the impact of the Wall Street crash. What was it? And we looked at the impact of Germany. Um, today I want us to look at its impact on Hitler and the Nazi party and how they benefited from this. So I just pause it there, get date, title, keyword down. So, um, just think back to sort of our key factors from last lesson. So, in terms of socially, in terms of economically, in terms of polit politically, think about and just jot down some ideas. How do you think the Wall Street crash helped Hitler? How did it benefit them, basically? Think about before the Wall Street crash, they've got 12 seats and they get 1 million votes. After the Wall Street crash, um, by July 1932, they got 230 seats and 13 million votes. So think about what they did. On no, sorry, think about how would it have helped? How would the Wall Street crash have helped? So just pause it there and jot down some ideas. So hopefully we looked or we thought about the fact that you know, lots of people are unemployed, which means they're not earning any money, which means they're going to be desperate for things like work so they can feed their families, feed themselves. Um, when there's 6 million, 6.1 million unemployed, Hitler comes along and promises them, you know, one of his key slogans is work and bread. He's going to get them jobs and so help them feed them. Um, also, we've got to remember the Wall Street crash makes politically it makes the Weimar Republic look really weak, and so therefore people are looking for you know another party to uh, turn to. Two of those parties are the Communists and the Nazi Party. So you've got extreme left and extreme right. Um, as you can see, both support for both of them goes up, though for the Nazi Party it's a lot bigger. Um, and we're going to look at that a bit more today. Why are they? Um, why do they get so much more support than the communists? But a nice little line for you to think about was um, you can say the Wall Street crash creates the circumstances under which extremist parties like the Nazis could flourish. So it creates circumstances that helps them, um, but they also take advantage of that, which is what we're looking at today. So the main task is just these two here. I want you to read pages 62 to 64. Uh, on 62, just briefly summarize, we have done it um, before. Just briefly summarize again the role of Hitler and the role of the SA. How does that help them? What is the appeal of Hitler? What is the appeal of the SA? Um, how does that lead to more support for the Nazi party? And then I want you to either copy out or print out this table here, which is on this slide, and tell me how do the Nazis appeal to all these different people in society, these different groups in society. So think about big business, the idea that um, they were scared of the communists, because under communism everything would be owned by the people, there'd be no private ownership of land or businesses etc so they're really scared of them so the Nazis appeal to them massively the working class who's probably their weakest area of support because they like what the communists are saying about them sort of having shared ownership of everything the middle class so these are people like teachers and lawyers um, small businesses maybe some small uh, farm ownership groups um, this is a big area of support for the Nazis. Uh, they were really hit hard by the Great Depression after the Wall Street crash and also by hyperinflation and loss of savings. And so the Nazis really appealed to them. Farmers is also their big area of support. And they remove the point in the 25 point program where they said they would get rid of and um, take all the land for the state. And they remove that from their manifesto 
and they say they're going to protect them from the communists who would take all their land and this comes into a big area of support and also young people as well um, then not on your table so you can add them at the bottom the information for this is pages 62 to 64 so just fill out the middle column first why uh, why did they support the Nazi party or in some cases why didn't they support them and then you can do the ranking task at the end which is in the challenge box at the bottom once you've done that you should then be able to go back to the sheet from last lesson and fill it out again and say what was the situation with the Nazis after 1929 so we said before they had very little support what was it like by 1932 and you can summarize that into three bullet points and if you really want to push yourself you can complete there's an interpretation question on page 66 of the textbook um, and then I'll get in contact with you all again regarding what we're going to do about Easter take care have a good day